Hello everyone and welcome to KubeCon 2023 here in Chicago at the McCormick Center. We are live with Dara yep. Raelish from 56K Cloud. He's <laughs> going to talk to us a little bit about his experience here at KubeCon so far. First of all though, Dara, can you yep. tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, yep. and maybe a little bit about 56K Cloud? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, well, we don't sell modems, if that's the first thing. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm uh, Dara Grish. I'm one of the, the, the co-founders and CTO of uh, 56K Cloud. We're like a kind of a small startup based in Switzerland, but we work globally, you know, like with you guys. Uh, and we're also quite connected with the community. I mean, a lot of that actually starts from our kind of relationship with the developer community and, and, and that it's kind of, you know, globally in a lot of cases. Um, a little bit about me, you know, I come from Ireland originally, but I, I live in Switzerland. I've always kind of, you know, worked on ARM tools since the beginning, studied uh, embedded systems. I remember the early Kyle Microvision days, and now the whole kind of thing does a turn back where, you know, people are still building on ARM, and, and now they're building cloud native on ARM in the cloud. So it's gone from devices you can have on your hand or like these headphones here uh, to actually, you know, client devices like laptops. It's a huge adoption there, especially with the whole energy thing. And then there's, uh, you know, uh, cloud infrastructure and like the Ampere guys with the 128 core yeah. Ampere Ultra CPU. That's ridiculously fast. So, so you know, developing yeah. on ARM for ARM, right? This is yeah. what we're kind of talking about. You were mentioning earlier, we were talking about how, how laptops are now kind of starting to make this push to be kind of ARM-based laptops. And this is a pretty yeah. amazing thing to see. Let's talk about 56K Cloud. Yeah. What does 56K Cloud do and how does 56K Cloud utilize ARM? Yeah, so we're uh, very passionate about modernization and, 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 and kind of migration applications, not just uh, into the cloud, but, you know, cloud to kind of cloud on ARM. Um, a lot of that actually has to start with the developer because they need to, you know, efficiently uh, modernize and, and know what kind of libraries to look for. Uh, and then the other end of the spectrum is that, you know, they've already been convinced by the ARM experience on their mobile devices. And that, that technology now we've seen it going down to client devices, you know. And, and uh, for us, you know, we focus on developer tooling and developer experience and building that in our clients, you know, because if they want to deliver really good products, you know, energy efficient solutions, they need to, you know, adopt like technologies like, you know, ARM architecture, and then actually see that kind of filter through into the organization. So yeah, we, we our typical clients are like, Everything from, you know, embedded system developers who have, you know, a, a cloud agenda or they have an application, you know, both on the edge and the cloud. And it can also be even like traditional applications that are modernizing, you know, banks and crypto banks, for example, you know. So we have a broad spectrum of clients, but, but it's usually all about the developer tooling, developer automation and, and, the, in, and, and the whole empowerment of, uh, of developers. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, you know, here we are, KubeCon, yeah. right? You've. I, I mean, I've been watching you again. We're we're here doing this interview in the corner of the arm booth, but I'm looking around and it is just yeah. massive. There is so yeah. much stuff happening, and this is just the expo floor, yeah. right? There's talks, keynotes, workshops, all sorts of amazing things happening. Yeah. What is something that you have experienced so far at the end of day one, looking back at everything that's happened so far today? Something that you found kind of the most exciting, or I guess one activity that you enjoyed the most? Uh, certainly. New people. New There's people. a lot of like net new people to hold cloud native uh, and especially like everything from containers. I mean, just a few weeks ago, there was a DockerCon in LA. That was the same thing. There was like 70% new people who are new into containers. So, you know, even though I've been going to like, what, four or five years now to KubeCon, um, and, you know, you guys have been also present throughout uh, as well. I mean, they, it, it's not like the, the, the community is mature and sense. There's still a lot of new adopters coming in and that, on what we were talking about, you know, four or five years ago, still relevant today. You know? well, why do you think that is, though? Like, why do you think so many new people are coming in here? Uh, I think it takes, you know, time for certain industries, vertical industries, to, to adopt. I think, mean, you know, all the fast mover, movers are obviously, you know, SMEs and startups. And people are, are anyways, inherently, you know, close to the whole developer community, you know, tooling. Um, but then if you look at the other side of the spectrum, there's a lot of like traditional applications, you know, uh, applications that we find with like, you know, verticals like uh, finance and FSI, there's everything OT technologies like Telco, for example. There's a nice presence from Telco people actually today. Um, and then there's uh, all the kind of fast movers, you know. So it's like the early adopters, the people who don't want to be first, you know, the, 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 that's who we're seeing today. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you know, you may have heard I have this little sword that I picked up. Yeah. Some some swag. <laughs> I accidentally hit the button there. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Uh, that's great. So new people here at KubeCon enjoying the experience. Yeah. Looking forward. We still have two more days left of this event. Yeah. What is something that you're looking forward to tomorrow or maybe the next day? Um. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to like 
less honestly developers you know because that, that's another kind of character i've seen a lot of those product owners people who are like now realize they're starting to think critical about like the tools they put in front of their engineers uh, how fast they can you know move from time to market and also if you look at the boots around here and everything i mean half of them now are coming from the traditional ict services you know they they're there you wouldn't have seen them two years ago or even a year ago you know so, the, so, so there's certainly the adoption is, is, is growing and, and I haven't, you know, gone around to many of the booths yet. So I'm looking forward to, to touring around and there's, some, and there's some really interesting topics around things like eBPF, you know, some really getting low down the Linux kernel stuff. And then there's some really basic stuff, you know, like getting started things where that was there in the early days, the first year or two of Docker, uh, of like DockerCon and KubeCon when that was, you know, big. Um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting, diverse Community, you know? Well, we're going to have an opportunity to do a booth crawl here soon. Yeah. Right? They're going to pull out the beer and wine. Yes. Yeah, you got your drink tickets ready? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. maybe we'll get a chance to walk around some of the booths together. Now, Dara, thank you so yeah. much for joining us. I hope you enjoy no the rest of your KubeCon. Yeah. And uh, we, appreciate, we appreciate you spending some time here with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for ARM for, you know, facilitating me to come here and everything. And it's been really cool working with you guys the last three to uh, four years. Number one ARM ambassador right here, Dara <laughs> Graylish from 56K Cloud. Thank you, Dara. Cheers. All right. Cheers. All right. See you all later. Thank you.